Hey guys, what's up? This is Captain J bringing you another video. So before the video starts, I want to give a very quick disclaimer. First and foremost, the music in this video does not belong to me. It was actually uploaded to YouTube by several different YouTubers. You can find it yourself just by searching non-copyright songs. Therefore, I am free to use this music or songs in my video. Also, this video is not sponsored by anyone, even though I am going to be talking about a little device that is going to be very useful. The reason why I'm talking about this specific device is because I try to search on YouTube and any other web pages to try to find a little bit more information, but it was actually a little hard and a little difficult for me to be able to completely understand it. Therefore, I decided to make this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so as a parent trying to put one of your children to bed during bedtime, of course, it is a little difficult because they want to stay up at night watching either videos, movies, shows, cartoons, etc. So what I have found was a wonderful little device called Wi-Fi Rage Extender. I know, you're probably asking, how is this little device supposed to help me put my children to bed? Well, very simple. Even though it's called Wi-Fi Range Extender, it's also, it also acts as a separate network for your home. What I mean by this is that you can actually set up a different type of web or Wi-Fi hotspot or spot in your home. It can be named differently and it can also be set up with a different password. It's also very small and very unnoticeable and very handy for this process or for what you will be trying to do. There are several different models that you can find online very cheap. Personally, I actually found my particular model in eBay for only $10. And that particular model happens to be the WN1000RP. This is their website. And this is basically, or their basic setup for this Netgear specific device. Notice it is actually different in the box in the way that they show it though this actually does work and this is how you properly set it up it does not mention the use of having a different network name and password on it this is where i was stuck and even though i did watch this video all the way through i didn't or couldn't find any information about it so i'm gonna get right up to what i mean if you want to you can go ahead and watch this video i'll leave the link in the description for you to watch the full video to completely or fully set up the wi-fi range extender the whole point of the process is to basically have you plug the device into the wall waiting a couple of seconds until the light turns green and then pressing the wps button on the side of the device after that going onto your router and doing the same pressing the wps button on the back and then have them fully synchronized there's different types of routers. Your particular one may be on the top, on the side, the front, or the back. After doing all of this process, you're probably wondering, okay, how do I set up my own network? In the manual, it tells you to go to this website. Unfortunately for me, app kept getting this error, and I was wondering how to fix it. This is what basically took me a while to figure out. For a quick note, on the manual, it also states that you have to be connected to the name of your Wi-Fi name underscore EXT. For example, here as shown, Netgear underscore extension. Now to get up to where you set your own network, log into your main domain. For example, mine is Xfinity. Go ahead and log into that. Find the WN1000RP down to device details. In here, you will be able to see the IP address of this device. Then type that in over onto your web search. It should automatically put you in this website and it'll also ask you to sign in. A generic password is always admin and password. Everything will be lowercase. Now give it a couple of seconds to see if there's any updates for it and you should now be on the website ready to go. From here, you can click on setup. It'll prompt you into the next screen. From here, you can look at the name of the generic and the generic password. You can also click on Wi-Fi settings to name whatever you want your domain to be, as well as set up the password for this. 
After you have finished applying all the settings to it, you should be now good and all set up for your new Wi-Fi name and password. From here on out, I basically just suggest for you to get one of the old devices, click on the old Wi-Fi name and click forget. And now for an extra precaution, I do suggest you going back to whatever provider you have's website and changing the password of your Wi-Fi or you can just as well change the name of it just as an extra precaution. After everything is all said and done, you're all good and set to go. You can now go into your devices and find the new Wi-Fi and type in your password. So we're all done and set. I hope this video helped you guys to set up your new Wi-Fi as well as give you a little bit more information than I was able to find on the web. Just remember if this video helped you out, hit a like and comment if you are stuck in any particular step. Thank you so much for watching. This was Captain J and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.